Season 14, it's almost here, we're this close. I'm taking a bit of time to talk some Diablo. Specifically, which builds and classes are the most powerful, the strongest, the best for Season 14? Now, Season 14 is using the same patch as Season 13, 2.6.1. And with every patch, there are changes to the meta gear, uh, some of the, the items and legendary stats, powers... What I'm trying to say is Blizzard chooses to nerf and buff items, sets, classes, however they like. Which is good. It sort of changes things around every season. So it's not always the same. Leaderboards are always fluctuating. It's a great thing. I, th I think it's definitely great. Keeps us interested. Keeps everybody on their toes. Now, the biggest benchmark... For Diablo 3 are greater rifts, whether it's group or solo. What I'm going to tell you right now are the most powerful builds and classes for solo high-end GR clears. And I'm going to start with the most powerful, and there is only one that stands out from the rest, and that is the Crusader Condemn build with full set Akans. Nothing can compare to this. Obviously... Player's skill level is going to come into play here. So, assuming that players are at a similar skill level and Paragon level, then something like the Condemned Crusader will definitely pull away from the rest. Sure, someone really good might come along and beat the Crusader's GR, but 9 times out of 10, this tier ladder is definitely going to be accurate. So Crusader Condemn build. I haven't got time to go through all these builds in details. Otherwise, I'll be here and Season 14 will already have begun. So it's going to take ages. I'm just going to let you know what it is. You guys do your research. Check out my videos because I've done builds for every class and every set in the game. So check those out in the um, Diablo 3 section with all the classes listed there. So the Crusader stands out from the rest easily. But after that, there are another eight builds that are definitely viable and maybe just below maybe below the Crusader Condemn build by like two to five greater greater rift levels, assuming that Paragon levels are similar and the player skill levels are quite similar as well. You'll only be two to five greater rift levels below this, and we'll start with the wizard class because there are three builds with the wizard class that are gonna be up there for season 14. They are Veer's Frozen Orb build, the Firebird Star Pact Meteor build, and the Firebird Channeling Meteor build. Any of those three are going to rip it up in season 14, and they're just going to be just under that Crusader class. It's also going to be a good season for Barbarians. Great news for Barbarians, because just like the Wizard, the Barbarians have a couple sets that come just under that Crusader number one top build for Greater Rifting in Season 14, and there are actually two builds for the Barbarian. Number one is the Raycor Hammer of the Ancients build, super powerful, and it's going to continue being powerful this season. Then we have the Charge build, which is six pieces of Immortal Kings and four pieces of Raycor. So... Getting Raycor is going to be quite critical in Season 14 for the Barbarians. That way you can set up for either the Hammer of the Ancients build, aka Hotter, or you can also go for the uh, Furious Charge build, but then you need your Immortal Kings as well. So getting Raycor pieces is good news this season for all you Barbarians. Along the same level as the Wizard and Barbarian builds will be two Necromancer builds that are very viable for Season 14 and super uber powerful. Number one is the Tragul Lancer build, Tragul's set. And the second one is the Pestilence. The Pestilence set, again, Pestilence Lancer build. The Lancer skill at the moment is just super overpowered. I, I think, I have a feeling they'll nerf it. If not, then these two are definitely going to continue dominating in season 15. But for now, we're talking 14. They are two Necromancer builds. If you want to really get into some serious high end greater rifting, Use one of those. And last of all, we've got the Monk Wave of Light build with the Sun Wuku set. That's the build that I was using in Season 13. It was absolutely overpowered. I loved it. A good player will probably really come close to that Condemned Crusader at the top there. If your Paragon levels are higher, you'll probably beat the Crusader. But like I said, we're going by a general average here. Assuming that everyone's on the sort of same sort of skill level and Paragon level, Crusader Condemned build is always going to push up that little bit more. A good player will always find a way to 
clear high-end greater rifts a little bit more a little bit higher than those builds that i've mentioned that are just under the crusader condemn if greater rifts aren't that necessary for you if it's not a priority for you if you just want to have fun you can go with any build any class that you want but those ones there the sun wuku monk wave of light was the last one they're the most powerful and definitely the ones you want to choose if you're going for high-end greater rifting and you're probably wondering where are the demon hunters the demon hunters fall just a little bit short just a little bit below the wave of light build and we've got the multi-shot build there the full marauder set build and also the six piece natalia and four piece marauder which i love it's my it's the the sentry damage build that's probably my favorite one whether it's fire or cold damage either way i love that build and i'm telling you i'll challenge those goddamn crusader condemned crusaders and they can rot in hell because i'm not going to give up i think i can beat them with that build but statistically speaking <laughs> they're a little bit below those top builds that i mentioned just before the demon hunters but they do come in just under there so there you have it they are the strongest builds and classes for solo greater rifting best of luck ladies and gentlemen i'll see you all in season 14